see what you're doing. I don't know if you so want how, any of your residents to look. So how old is she? Um, she is four months. Hopefully she'll start so I can see her. Let's see. She's four there and a half months. Um, she has Marcus Gunn jaw winking syndrome. Um, which means that every time she uses her jaw for sucking or when she's older when she starts chewing, um, she will blink this eye. She's not sucking that vigorously right now because she's not that hungry. Let's see if she'll suck a little more vigorously here in a minute. Come on. There there you go. Oh. There we go. Um, so basically, um, the pterygoid muscle in the jaw um, sends a signal to the oculomotor nerve um, and causes it to um, wink like this each time. And most <coughs> of us, or all of us, have a disinhibition so that that doesn't happen, but she um, doesn't have that disinhibition. Um, associated with it is um, atosis, and some are mild, some are moderate, and some are severe, depending on how many millimeters um, low the, the um, eyelid is over the pupil. Um, and there's corrective surgery with an oculoplastic surgeon um, for severe, moderate and severe cases of ptosis. Um, so we're very fortunate that she has a mild case of ptosis. Um, and it, when she gets more tired, the ptosis becomes worse. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? What happens as she gets older? She'll, um, she'll always have it. So even when she feeds and even when she eats and stuff, she'll always have it. She may be able to kind of cover it or find ways to chew food so that she doesn't have it. And what's interesting is that when boys have this, when they get older in that adolescent population, they love showing it to all the kids. And then girls, of course, try to hide it. Um, so um, the thing that's important is about, I think somewhere in the 40 to 50% range um, have um, a superior rectal palsy associated with it. Um, somewhere in the 40 to 50 percent range. Some of them have an amblyopia, amblyopia associated with it because um, they also have a strabismus. So it's important that the ophthalmologist identify any other kind of um, oculomotor palsies. Um, How, and those are is, corrected before the plastic surgery. What, what is the um, uh, incidence of this um, I don't know. I've looked and looked. I've done all the research I could. And so I asked Dr. Goey what the incidence and prevalence was, and she said nobody's ever done anything on it. Um, but you have a friend. Well, we actually, we have a friend whose seven-year-old daughter has it, and she was the one who noticed that she that she had the, um, we had talked about the palsy, but she, uh, not the palsy, the ptosis, but she had noticed that the jaw winking too, and she said, she couldn't believe it and her husband's a physician and he just didn't believe it either until we took her to the ophthalmologist so we thought it was wild that it was so rare now the ophthalmologist describes it as very common which i thought was interesting huh. from an, from a pediatric ophthalmology she perspective one to two cases a month one to two cases a is month here right? at mcj mm -hmm. is that right so in their population i mean in the pediatric yeah. ophthalmology world but that's because people from this area are bringing them in right to mcg and you're you're a family medicine physician yes okay yeah. very good nice teaching yeah well i had to do a lot of research on it myself when it first found out the first few nights i was up leery eyed trying to go over the he and t uh, anatomy yeah. after all those years yeah well thank so, you very much you're welcome